He is risen. Alleluia. Yes, the 1st of April, April Fool's Day, the risen Lord, the empty tomb, the apostles full of fear. Where is that Jesus? Where did he go? And all of a sudden, he appears. It was a new adventure for our apostles and the few women who were following Jesus to go to the tomb and find it empty. Nothing there but the linen that covered him. The, ro the stone rolled over an empty tomb. Mary Magdalene came and fell on her knees as she saw the empty tomb. Where did they put him? Saw the gardener and says, where did you put him? Everybody is searching for Jesus. He's not there. And there he was as the gardener. Madeline thought it was the garden, gardener. When he appeared to the apostles in the middle of a closed room, peace be with you, he said, and gave them the breath of the Spirit in their lives. A new creation, just like the first creation. New life comes from God, comes from Christ. What meaning can we give to the empty tomb in our 21st century? In 2018, when we are celebrating this resurrection of Christ and this empty tomb. We all have empty tombs in our lives. We all have empty tombs in which we keep looking at, being preoccupied by. And that is all by our moments of despair, discouragement, loneliness, being rejected, not, never forgiven, not understood, not respected. We like looking at that empty tomb. Jesus is inviting us by calling us by name to look at him. To look at him and to realize that he is present in our lives. Visible at times and invisible at in other times. But he's there. Can we acknowledge that? Do we recognize this living Lord, this risen Lord? And like Mary Magdalene, she didn't recognize him in the gardener. So Jesus had been transformed. Jesus had risen from the dead. Jesus was different. Not a ghost, not a spirit, but a person. And he's in the, each and one of us and in each and one of the people we encounter. So on this Easter morning, we are not looking at the empty tomb. We are looking at the gardener, the risen Lord, Sometimes, by fear and all this and that, yet like the apostles, we, we close ourselves in ourselves. But Jesus will still come into our midst, is still there, wanting, us to give, wanting to give us that's really the spirit of life, new life. And that's what we have to ask the Lord to give us, new life, a new way, a new attitude, a new beginning, a new belief in self as we try to believe in others and in this risen Lord. So today, as we celebrate this resurrection or during this whole month, we are going to follow the beginning of the church and how the church had to overcome many challenges as it slowly seemed to separate itself from the traditions of the Old Testament to the new in celebrating the breaking of the bread and the sharing of the cup and in sharing of the word of Jesus. It's beautiful to see how it spread around. The world became very large, yet very small. And there we are called to bring that risen Lord, to discover him in our midst, and to recognize him in those we encounter. So as we celebrate Easter, with all our chocolates and bunnies and all our family celebrations, Jesus is there. 
the joys of the celebrations we have and sometimes in the challenging periods, periods of our life. But let us not stay focused on that empty tomb, but let us embrace the gardener who is before us. And that is each and one of us, sign of Jesus' presence in our world and the world we encounter. Happy Easter. He is risen. Hallelujah.